Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, I have made a um, how to diagnose your Prius battery video in the past, but um, after that video, I replaced some modules in the battery pack, and it's been about 16,000 miles since then, and the battery pack is showing issues of, uh, of failing yet again. So I thought I would go over a few of the signs that I've been seeing in my Prius that uh, just point me to the direction that yes, it is a battery pack and not you know something else in the system. And on, on that note, it could be the battery modules in the battery pack itself, or it could be the, um, the bus bars that connect the battery modules together. Those can corrode, and when they corrode, the resistance through them increases, which cuts down on current flow and voltage and uh, could possibly trip that uh, P0 a80 hybrid battery issue check engine light so first thing is first uh, right here on your dashboard I don't have any lights on right now but if you do have the P0 a80 check engine code you'll have a big red exclamation point as well as the check engine light and the um, I think it's like the traction control light but uh, that'll light up on your dashboard and it's a pretty good indicator that your battery is failing uh, these systems are pretty sensitive uh, so if you have that, I would definitely uh, look into replacement or reconditioning. But that is <clears throat> that is the first step. These systems are very sensitive and they typically know what's going on. But uh, it shouldn't be the only indicator you rely on. And I'm going to show you, show you a few more that you can check just to make sure. So a very handy tool that I would highly recommend you get is the Torque Pro app on your Android phone. I'm not sure what uh, the Apple equivalent is, um, as well as a, you see that down there, the OBD2 to Bluetooth adapter so your phone can connect. Now what I have here are all 14, uh, or, yeah, 14 battery block voltages and each block is made up of two modules. Now, if you have an obvious failure like I did last time, you'll have a, a clear indication of which which module is failing. Last time I made, a, made a, a video about this, I had one like one block would be at like eight volts, which would be half of what it should be. So with this tool, you can monitor your voltages and that will give you a pretty good indication of the health of your battery pack. Uh, I'm gonna go into a little more depth here in a second. The other uh, gauges that I have on here is fan speed, HV charge isn't really necessary, HV discharge isn't really necessary. Your auxiliary battery voltage, it should be a solid 14 with the car on. Your delta state of charge, I haven't really found much value in that. The uh, high, high voltage state of charge, uh, the high voltage ba uh, battery air temperature, which is your air intake, so right now it's at 80 degrees. And uh, the other handy um, gauges to have are your battery temperatures. Now this tests the uh, uh, it tests the temperature in three points. So there's one, two, three. A good operating range is about 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And in my case, after a good bit of driving, these batteries will get up to about 130 degrees. And uh, around that time, that's when the check engine light really likes to trip a lot. And uh, that indicates to me that these batteries are aged and starting to overheat. I did check the fan for debris, which I have a video up, which I'll, I'll link in the description for you to check out. And if you have high battery temperatures, I would definitely check your fan first. It's not too difficult. It's about a 25 minute job and uh, you should really be cleaning them on a regular basis anyways. All right, so I hope you can hear me over this AC noise, but the next test is to put it in neutral uh, when it's in neutral, the gas engine or the ICE, the internal combustion engine, is not charging the hybrid battery pack. And you're going to want to put the AC on full blast. So what I do is I just hit the AC button and I set it to max cold and it'll, it'll automatically put it on recirculate. Uh, so I hope you guys can still hear me, but at this point you're going to want to watch your batteries, your battery voltages, and look for which battery starts to fail. Which battery uh, block has the most drop in voltage. So you can already kind of see these blocks down here are at a solid 14.7. 
but a few blocks over here are like 14, 14, 14.1, and they'll just start dropping further and further from here on out. Uh, you can check, uh, let's see, energy, so yeah, battery is about drained, so that's when, the, um, that's when it's gonna show up the most. Uh, this problem light is just because of the, uh, the low voltage and no charge. So back to here, just watching. Still, these bottom ones are at a good 14, almost 14 and a half volts. And uh, these ones are dropping pretty quick, 13 volts. So block one could potentially be a problem block three, block five, and block seven. So what I did was I went on, um, hang on, let me, let me put it in park so it stops with its little noise. So I went on eBay and I bought about four new modules and we're gonna see um, when I open up the pack which one of these uh, modules in these blocks are the faulty ones because these blocks measure the combined voltage of two modules so while i know it was you know say block four i don't know which of the which module of block four was the low one until i put a load and a voltage tester on it so that's another way to see which of your modules are on the weaker side if you have an intermittent check engine light that only shows up every now and then. So yeah, now now because it's in park, all the, the voltages are coming back up from the charge. And here are those check engine lights that I was talking about. It's the exclamation point, the check engine light, that yellow exclamation in the circle and the parentheses, and then the VSC. Sorry, the camera doesn't focus on it, but uh, it's not liking that. Uh, another warning sign of a hybrid battery that's kind of on its way out is this little indicator right here. Now, if you if you live in a hot area and you're running the AC all the time, it is possible that it could be like a false positive. But if your battery hardly ever charges up, that could be a sign. When I'm driving around, it's hardly ever above one, if not two purple bars. Uh, you can see from sitting here with the AC off, it managed to charge itself up to half charge. But when your batteries start failing, it's they don't hold a charge as well as they used to. And uh, it'll just drain your battery from AC or from driving around. And it's, it's just a, kind of a pain to drive. Because when you're driving around with only one purple bar, uh, here's another sign. When you're driving around and you have one purple bar a lot, you'll push the gas pedal and nothing will happen until the internal combustion engine is kicked on and then it'll kind of sluggishly go. Uh, so that's another sign to look out for. But yeah, if your battery is constantly dead or if it's, you know, like charging up and down really quickly, it should um, this charge and discharge should be a more gradual process rather than just bouncing around up and down all the time. So... Yeah, look out for a low battery state of charge a lot of the time or a quick charge and discharge. Like if you were to charge it up all the way to green, come to a stop and then floor it and get up to like 60 miles an hour, see how much of a charge you lost from that acceleration. It shouldn't be too terribly um, much of a, of a discharge. And if it is, you know, your batteries could be low on capacity and be on their way out. Another sign to look for is if your hybrid battery fan vent, if you can hear the fan blowing in that vent at high speed a lot, that could be a sign that your batteries are on the way out. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure the chemistry behind it as to why it exactly happens, but it seems like the batteries with, um, with age, they lose their capacity. And with that lost capacity, they have to dissipate some of that charge as heat. And like I mentioned with the, uh, the app, you monitor those temperatures, and of course, when it gets hotter, the, the Prius is gonna say, hey, we need to cool off the batteries, kick the fan on full blast, and it'll be blowing. And it sounds kinda like kinda like your uh, your vent blowers on low speed or, or higher speed, 
but uh, it's this vent in the back corner right over here and uh, mine's running right now actually so you can take a listen. So right there, I don't know if you can hear it but it's kind of gently blowing right now. I don't have the AC on, the car is on and it's just sitting here in park. So I know I haven't covered every single sign of a dying hybrid battery, but I've covered a lot of them and these are problems that I'm running into myself with my Prius that definitely tells me it is a hybrid battery on its way out. Uh, like I said, I've ordered a few more modules and hopefully I can replace a few of those bad ones and get you know another 15,000 miles out of this Prius. Uh, the other correct way to do it is I hear that Toyota is selling brand new battery packs for a pretty reasonable price, I'd say around $2,000 or so. Or you, if you want, you can go on Prius Chat and there's, um, there's a guy there, uh, Prius Chat the forum, there's a guy there that's selling these aftermarket battery packs that sell 14 large battery blocks. So each block takes up the two modules and uh, he sells packs of 14 and they're a self-installed deal. Uh, and I've heard pretty good reviews about them. I think it's like a two year, 25,000 mile warranty. But anyways, back on topic, The uh, so just to recap, the signs to look for is first, if you're getting that Christmas tree of check engine lights. Second, you can monitor your battery temps. Anything over like 120 is considered kind of hot. Uh, three, you can look at your battery voltages. Either it outright shows low voltage or under load, like uh, w when you're in neutral with the AC on full blast, if you see any drops in voltage, uh, you can look you can listen for your AC, or your not your AC, your uh, hybrid battery fan vent. If you hear it running a lot at high speeds, that could be an indicator. And look at your um, your in dash little charge indicator. If it's always low, or if it's high low, high low, high low, um, and changing rapidly, uh, that could be an indicator. You can do that uh, stop. To 60 mile an hour test and see how much the battery drops as well as if you're pushing the gas pedal down and it's like a lag and then the ice kicks in and then you go that could be an indicator as well so anyways um yeah not a full not a full coverage i may may have not uh, touched on a few points i made in the other video i can't really remember right now but these are the signs that I'm experiencing. I wanted to pass them on to you, a little bit more of an updated list from my previous video. Um, anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I do a lot of Prius videos. Uh, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, share this video to your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.